Hi, my name's Steve Griffiths and I'm a science teacher. I want to explain to you how your son or daughter is going to be doing science this year at school. Firstly, I want to explain how a normal classroom sort of operates and then explain to you how it's going to be different this year. So in a normal classroom in this group learning space, classically involves the teacher standing at the front of the class and delivering a lesson, uh, explaining content, uh, delivering information to the students and they write it down and perhaps at the end of the lesson they have time to start practicing, answering questions, doing problems and worksheets and maybe doing an experiment. But then at home they're usually assign homework tasks that reinforce that learning. So questions, worksheets, etc. Often the trouble with this approach is that the teacher is not at home to be able to answer the questions for the student. So often students feel that they can't do the homework because they don't know where to go, they don't know where to start. Also we find that the teacher standing out the front talking to the group so every student is an individual and they learn at a different rate and they learn in different ways. So it might be appropriate for maybe two or three of the people in the class, but for others it's too fast, for others it's too slow. So the idea with flip learning is we actually flip the individual and the group learning spaces around. So it usually involves the teacher making videos of what they would normally deliver in front of the class. So instructional videos. The students watch those in the individual learning space. So often that's at home for homework before the lesson, but sometimes it's actually in class as well, watching videos with headphones in. It's still an individual learning space because they can pause and rewind and take, take as long as they want to watch the video. So they're getting the content in their individual learning space. So that means when they come to class, the classroom or the group learning environment is an interactive and dynamic learning environment where students are learning from each other. Students are learning one-on-one -on -one with the teacher. The students are doing activities and experiments. Uh, and what we find is it's far more engaging for the students. They can learn things at their own pace and then they can apply them in the class where they've got their teacher and they've got their peers to help them.